Hi, this is Malini. Today we show you some alternatives for indoor succulents. If you're looking for something other than like Sansevierias or Worthias to put inside, um, these are good options um, to look for. And this one is um, Begonia. This is a Begonia venosa and it's native to Brazil. See these beautiful, large, green, lush leaves. These are great for inside. And begonias like lots of humidity as well as um, shade or filter light. So it doesn't do well in full sun. The leaves will actually turn brown or yellowish. So you want to protect it from extreme heat and from direct sun. So this is great for, for example, inside near a window. Let's say east facing or north facing is fine. So these are pretty green lush leaves. And water is about um, once every 14 days or when the soil is dry. So I see I just watered it and I water until it drains all the way through the bottom of the drainage hole. Another variety is known as a Serapikia Hayworthy. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, also known as a lantern flower. So it's a climbing or cascading succulent. Let's see. And the leaves are somewhat I wouldn't really say egg shape, but a little bit more kind of like a, um, I don't know, kind of pointed leaves there, greenish, lush, fleshy green leaves. We have a long stems here. Now this can be a climbing or cascading succulent. It's also from South Africa. Um, I think it can get as long over time um, this can get quite long, so like maybe three to four feet long, maybe longer over time. Of course, the stem is fairly thin here, and the flowers are quite beautiful. I don't have a flower yet to show you, but when it comes out, I hope I have a, I'll show you a picture on Instagram. So the flowers are like cream colored and you have purple flecks on them, so that's kind of what unusual. Known as a lantern flower. Water, um, once every... 10 to 14 days can be indoors. The last variety I want to show you is known as an Opacularia pachypus. And it's also known as a Madagascar elephant tree. It's from Western Madagascar. Over time, this can get to about, let's say three to four feet tall, but you can keep it relatively contained in the container, see like this, and you can put it indoors with uh, filter light or bright indirect light and water about once a month. And I'll put videos, um, uh, links to videos to um, indoor cyclins. Um, if you're interested in other indoor cyclins, um, I can put links to those videos in the description below. And hope you, hopefully that will help you if you're looking for something, um, let's say for inside with low light and also easy to care for. Thanks for watching.